Welcome back. Nisabu gele yona the link right on SABC One Zanzi for sure. Every Wednesday at 6.30. See, let's tell isn't it's hot, trendy and fashionable. And speaking of fashionable, nilele no sisu o mu le le le. The current Miss South Africa. Marilyn, welcome. Oh, thank you so thank much. It's so gorgeous. gorgeous. Thank you. Very yeah, much. how you feel? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I think um, it's a beauty pageant thing. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> um, no, I'm very, I'm excited to be here, number one. And I've just, it's been such a roller coaster thus far, but I'm enjoying it and I'm embracing every experience. Yeah. Let's talk about the past couple of months. I mean, how have they been? It's been literally life changing. I don't think mm. people realize how well, my life has changed. Being coming from being a student to where I am now, you know, you have all these corporate events to go to, CEOs to meet, mm. and so it's been hard. It's been challenging, but I've been loving it. Now, take me through a journey of becoming my South Africa because I know I've got a lot of young ladies that want to be like you. You have to be mentally strong. Yes. Physically, you have to be in top, top shape and you have to be clued up. When it comes to general knowledge and current affairs, you have to know what's going on. Was there any competition? Did you ever at one point feel, okay, no, nah, I got this. Nah. Never, 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 never. I know we all, never, have, to, we all <laughs> just have to say nice things, but were you like, okay, no, no, not my competition. That one, yeah, maybe. No, honestly, when we were still 24 girls in the competition down in Durban, then already I said, if I don't make top 16, I'll buy out gracefully, knowing that these girls that make it through are absolutely worthy of taking yes, the title. Yeah. So until the very last night, until the top five, until the winner was announced, I, I didn't even consider myself it. Really? <laughs> now let's talk about the cat fights. <laughs> Tell me about the cat fights. Don't mention names, but I know there is cat fights. I've been there. There was not one cat fight. <gasps> Honestly, really? those girls are just... They're too nice. Take us through some of the duties that uh, Miss South Africa has to, you know, go through. Obviously, first on my priority list is my charities. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm privileged enough to have great sponsors as well. Yeah. So, you know, you have to fulfill their, like, their expectancies when it comes to social media and appearances and so on. Mm -hmm. But I'm really enjoying the fact that I can connect with their CSI and their charity projects also. So they keep me busy, honestly. I can imagine. <laughs> Shoot, I can imagine. Yes. Now, Marilyn wakes up in the morning. What's the first thing she does? Make a cup of coffee. <laughs> you don't even brush your teeth, girl. No, it's straight for the coffee. Oh. I need the caffeine. Like, yeah. really. <laughs> now, your life has changed, like, drastically from okay. who you were a couple of months ago to now. At the end of the day, I, I was a student. Um, a student. I was living yeah. a normal student lifestyle in Pretoria. And now, you know, you have to build up, not the courage, but you have to build up that confidence to think, you know, I have to go and meet the CEO of National Mobile tonight. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. you, you can't really put yourself on that same level. Yes. So that's been challenging me a lot. And like, I push myself to go out of my comfort zone. And yeah, that's what I'm, that I feel is so rewarding is when you, after such an evening or after such an event, you come back and you're like, wow, I actually did it. So mm -hmm. you stop underestimating yourself. And you're going back to studying next year? It depends on where life takes me. I'd really like to complete my degree. Um, it's always been a dream for me. The year that lies ahead, I'm not sure what the doors are going to be opening for yes. me. So I'd obviously, I'd just go and do research about everything that comes my way and then I'll pick carefully. Let's talk about your family. What do they mean to you? No, my family is my everything. Yeah. Um, we're very close. I mean, I come from a very small community, mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. So there, everybody knows everything about mm -hmm. everyone. I can imagine. <laughs> so, I've been quite a close family, you know, they've been my support system from the word go. Mm -hmm. um, throughout the competition also, if I needed anything, they were there number 99, the last minute, so I'm very blessed. What gets your blood boiling? Oh my word, people that drive like lunatics in traffic. I can. And then people that judge and criticise without any reason. And what keeps you going? What keeps me going is like the fire burning in me. I'm a very spiritual person as well. Yeah. So my religion and everything that keeps me motivated, keeps me strong. Okay, Miss Universe, Miss World? Oh yes, of course. Now I'm very excited. I'm going to be doing both this year. Okay. I want to represent the country on as many levels as possible. Mm -hmm. So I know Miss World's going to be in Indonesia in September. Yeah. I can't wait. Thank you so much for coming oh, through. Thank we you wish so you all much the for best. Having me. And we'll be watching your journey. Actually, we'll be part of your journey. Oh yes, you are. Thank you very yes. much. I appreciate it. Definitely. Well, well, Marilyn Ramos, do make sure that you chat to her on Facebook or Twitter, uh, Miss Essay, right? Miss Essay. Yeah, next up is Usnazo. Wow.